Folks, we got a big week ahead of us. There is going to be something happening on Wednesday that we are all going to have to pay attention to. That is, of course, the Fed meeting. Again, the rate decision is a nothing burger, but it is the dot plots and it is the uh, Q&A done by Jerome Powell after. We will get into that. We will talk about what Blackstone's Jonathan Gray has to say about the real estate market and it is going to surprise you. How about Redfin's CEO? What the heck is he saying? We will, of course, talk about the week ahead. And if you're interested, I have the, the college degrees that pay the least. Again, if you have somebody that's looking at one of these degrees, you might want to let them know. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being alive. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for being a part of One Rental at a Time. Let's talk about the Fed. Big week. The rate decision, over. Nothing has happened. The Fed is going to pause. But then the fireworks. What is the dot plot going to say? Again, what is the dot plot simply said? It is basically a summation of what the 18 Fed presidents think is going on in the U.S. economy. What are they going to think about rates? Watch rates. Remember last time, they said we were basically done. We were at peak, AKA terminal rates. I have a sneaky suspicion that we are going to see a couple of Fed presidents actually say that rates are going higher. That, is, that could be a problem. If we have one or two that think rates are going higher, no big deal. But if we see four, five, heaven forbid, six Fed presidents say we are going higher, then that will be a problem. That will shock the market. In addition to rates, we have to think about duration, right? When is this first Fed cut coming? As of today, the market, the smart money, is finally on the same page as the Fed. We are going to have three rate cuts, and they are going to start in June. However, that could change Wednesday. It is possible that the Fed says, hey, we are going to do something in July. It's possible they're going to say we'll do something later and then that perhaps Q4. So again, anybody going higher, when is first rate cut? Those are very important. Then we get to GDP. Are any of the Fed presidents calling for a recession, negative growth? Are any of them forecasting growth below 1%? Because again, you have to remember, my biggest fear is stagflation. We do not have the tools to combat stagflation. We have tools for high inflation. We have tools for a slow economy. We do not have tools for both. And that is something that is a non-zero chance of coming. What is happening to unemployment? Remember, one of the things that is very clear today is the job market as of today has not broken. We've gone from a low of 3.4% unemployment to a current 3.9%. What are the Fed presidents saying about unemployment? Is that going to go higher or not? And if so, how high? So again, this is going to be very important. That is the dot plots. And then, if that's not bad enough, we're going to get Jerome Powell in front of a microphone. And if you remember anything about Jerome Powell for the last... 18 months, he has uh, shown an affinity to surprise us and shock us. I want to thank you for the super chat. That was very nice of you. Yes, focus and daily discipline. Keep showing up. Keep getting better. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you very much. So again, Jerome Powell in front of a microphone. What's he going to say? Is he going to be hawkish Jerome Powell or is he going to be dovish Jerome Powell? I don't know. I don't know. But again, Wednesday, full of fireworks. Wednesday, I think 2 o'clock Eastern, 11 o'clock Pacific, or I think it's 2.30 and 11.30. Uh, but again, I will be paying attention as you should as well. All right, folks, what does Jonathan Gray have to say about real estate? First and foremost, a lot of you probably don't know who he is. He is the real estate president, the big wig at Blackstone. I believe Blackstone is the best commercial real estate investors on the planet. So when Jonathan Gray talks, I listen. You got to remember commercial, not residential, right? Commercial. 
This is what Jonathan Gray had to say on Bloomberg. The real estate prices have bottomed. In interest rate risk, I'm sorry, inventory risk of missing out on opportunities if you're being too cautious. Hey, Ninja, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Uh, that's very nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But again, Jonathan Gray is basically saying prices have bottomed. Get in before interest rates fall, go up. Hi, guys. What are you guys doing? One second. Sorry. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. What are we doing? Sorry about that. I got somebody in my room with me and the dogs are barking. I apologize. But again, what is Jonathan Gray saying? It buy before rates go up. This again is commercial. Remember that's going on. Uh, more rates are coming down the pipeline and central banks perhaps might move quickly. You have to remember historically, the Fed raises rates slowly, but when they go down, they go down quickly. Now, again, Jonathan Gray is talking his book. This is what he does for a living. I think it is absolutely some wishful thinking. I do not share Jonathan Gray's rosy picture of prices bottoming. In fact, prices in commercial are down 20%. Office is down 40%, but we're close. We are certainly closer to the bottom than we were before all of that. That said, what is Redfin CEO? Jonathan Gray is commercial. Redfin CEO is residential. Let's separate those. Jonathan, or I'm sorry. Glenn Kelman is saying that the housing sector will be impacted for decades based on the Fed moves. Lower supply for a long time to come. I ask you, who told you that a year ago? In fact, on numerous occasions, I have highlighted the now 54-year spreadsheet. The 54-year spreadsheet going back to 1978. 1981, showing that when transactions crashed, that it took a decade, 12 years, 14 years for the housing market to get back to normal. Now, I don't think it will take 14 years, but it's not gonna take 14 months. This is going to be with us for a long time. I wouldn't be shocked if Redfin CEO is watching this channel. In fact, he may have downloaded the 54-year spreadsheet. If you want the 54-year spreadsheet, it is free. It is updated with 2023 data. Shout out John Sterling for doing that for us. Go to my website, onerentalatatime.com. There are eight boxes. It's on the lower right. Simply put your email and the 54-year spreadsheet will be emailed to you. Look at what happened in 1978, 1981, and how long it came before the market was back to normal. So I agree. I don't agree with Jonathan Gray, but I do agree with the CEO of Redfin that the housing market will not be back to normal for years to come. Alrighty, folks, let's talk about the week ahead, the week ahead on the economic front. Today, this morning, we got home builder confidence. Uh, what are home builders thinking as rates go up? Number Tuesday, housing starts. Folks, we need housing starts. We need residential housing starts. We need smaller homes. We need builders to pivot and reduce their square foot, right? We've already seen last year that square footage is down 3%. I hope it falls another 5%. We can only get out of the housing crisis that we are in by building more homes. Depending on who you listen to, it could be 1.8 million short. It could be 4 million. Who cares? We're millions and millions short. We've got to figure this out, and I think the answer is smaller homes. Wednesday, we've already talked about it, big, big day. We're gonna get the rate decision, nothing burger, but then we're gonna get the press conference and we're gonna get the dot plots. Then on Thursday, we will once again get weekly unemployment claims. This is where we touch base every week with the job market. I believe last week was 212,000. We are trending below 220. Is the job market in a break? I don't know, let's see. And then on also on Thursday, we're gonna get the le leading economic indicators. Again, the leading economic indicators is a snapshot of the economy. Are we going to see stagflation? Are we gonna see a rolling recession? Shoot, are we gonna see an all out recession? I don't know, but we're gonna get some more color on Thursday. 
And then the big number, at least for this channel, is existing home sales. Existing home sales will come out on Thursday. Last month, we did 4 million. The expectations from the experts are 3.92. I'm gonna tell you folks, I think this number surprises to the upside. Why do I say that? Well, if you've been watching my channel for the last three or four weeks, you know we speak to real estate agents every week and all of them were telling us about the buying frenzy that occurred in January. Remember, we're gonna get existing home sales for February. That means the contracts were January. Rates were low in January. I'm gonna call Thursday's number. You know what? I'm gonna call a big miss. I'm gonna call 4.1 million. I better write that down because I know you guys are gonna hold me accountable. 4.1 million. Again, the experts are telling you it's going to be 3.92. So let's see who is right on Thursday morning. And then finally, folks, what we do with this channel is we congratulate people doing the work. We give out black cards for your next deal, but we give out gold cards for your first deal. I wanna congratulate Mark for getting his first deal. Mark, your card will go out in the mail. Congratulations for doing the work uh, and being a part of one rental at a time. Alrighty, folks, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you like the setup. Shout out Omar for helping me set this up, getting this whole angle thing. I have no, no idea what I'm doing, but I appreciate the feedbacks and thoughts and stuff. Like, subscribe, comment, become part of One Rental at a Time. Have fun, take care, later.